ABLI Bridges course allows for some really unique engagement on both the student and the teacher level. Um, using both asynchronous and synchronous opportunities for that communication can really enhance the learning in some really neat ways. I wasn't the best online learner, so I was a bit hesitant when deciding to take the ABLI Bridges Gender Studies course. However, it was the idea of being able to collaborate with other students and about an extremely debatable topic that led me to go headfirst into the class. Gender studies isn't really a topic that's discussed at all at our school, so the idea of joining a pilot class with an all-girls school uh, from a completely different part of the country really intrigued me. My goal as a teacher is to use the asynchronous time, the time when students are not in the class live, to get them to really engage with the material, to think critically, and to prepare for those live classes. AVLI made it super easy to adapt to their system. It was easy to keep up with my grades, understand different topics taught, and stay in touch with my teacher the entire time. There wasn't a single moment where I felt confused, misled, or alone. Not only did I find the synchronous learning we did to be effective in expanding my views and opening up to different perspectives, I also developed time management skills through asynchronous learning. I like to have students do a mix of formal assignments, informal assignments, creative writing, research, and the students get to choose a lot of the things that they get to study. The open communication through Zoom facilitated the course's aspect of learning about the different views of gender studies. I was highly impressed with our topics of debate and how the course handled the idea of speaking your opinion. When I was in the Zoom calls with the all-girls school and Miss Bowers, it really helped. I found the open discussion to be super, one, entertaining, but also helpful. Um, going to an all-boys school, you really don't see different perspectives. 